Hello, welcome back to Random Sushi Live Nuding. In this episode, I'll be sharing with you the creations of this kind of apocalyptic city. Um, it's a little bit brutalism, but it's more probably more like um, Kowloon Wall City. So this city is no longer exist, but yeah, this is just an, some kind of abstract version of the city. So the detail itself, um, if you look closer. It's just for noise, random noise, but it could be better. From the top view, kind of convincing. It's not too bad, but uh, anyway, I want to share with you uh, how I made this. So I have this collection that's currently hidden, and the collection is a bunch of buildings. So I only have like six variations of the building, but I can have like 10, 100 variations or variants. And I can kind of just scatter this. Um, I could add more details, but for now, just keep it simple. So let me hide that for now. So the one that I have here. Okay, this one. If I get rid of the floor, it's basically like this. I. I didn't make the instance to be at the bottom but you can do that yourself um, what I have here just like a building being scattered based on this brutal collections so let's see yeah I can still randomize the point I can randomize the rotation slightly And I can randomize the scale in all X, Y, Z. There's actually a point scale here. This I think this is a little bit wrong. Let me show the plane. Let me actually apply, apply the plane scaling. So this is the scatter. We have a lot more of this building now. Well, maybe too many. File, save as. It's actually not too bad. Something like this. Quite convincing from far away. Right, so not too bad. So let's take a look <clears throat> at these uh, pieces. So each of the pieces is actually um, apart from the shader. Let's take a look at the shader very quickly. The shader is just using um, noise and Voronoi. So if we play around with the noise, we get a different result maybe for the noise texture, it could I could uh, use a different noise or something. And for for a noise, I can get rid of the randomness, but I just like to have that sort of ran randomness. From far away, it looks kind of okay. So this guy over here, we have six different variations, and each one of them is basically just boxes so it's instance cube and it's randomized and I'm using a little bit of noise here also without the noise it's just like a just random boxes so this is exactly um, kind of like a, the idea um, so let's take a look I started with the cylinder and I can control the radius of the cylinder so it's kind of making like a brick and my cylinder only have like a four vertices but I can make it six or more so it's more like a cylinder cylindrical and I randomize randomize the cylinder a little bit so I can randomize that or I can have it less random to make the scatter a little bit more random so it's scattering all these boxes 
so it's basically just noise you know like uh, random boxes and I rotate it 45 degree this uh, let's put it back to 4 and then I have point distribute with density control more randomizations this is where the point instancing happening triangulate um, this one supposed to put it on the floor doesn't always work but if you want to do that feel free you need to fix the position maybe I should put the cylinder on the floor over here before I scatter etc um, yeah using bounding box and this combinations you can put the cylinder on the floor and then I just assign this material here over here uh, if you make like a duplicate of this objects you can randomize the seed change the depth of the cylinder <clears throat> and then you can displace if you want to you can also use something like remesh so remesh will completely remesh everything into a single single objects um, like that sometimes you want it to be blocky maybe or you can also decimate with decimate you get something that's a little bit more abstract maybe this is what you want and after you decimate maybe you can use solidify or or just simply use another remesh so you, you have this kind of like I don't know like a this is like a space junk yeah I, I think I made something like this in the past I just call it space junk it's a little bit like space junk but it's kind of like um, it's, it reminds me of Wally -E, actually kind of like a junkyard scenes in Wally -E. yep it's probably something like this but just a lot more details if you look at this Pixar movie but I like this scene at the beginning of the movie so yeah so this is how I created this using geometry nodes in blender this is yeah you can put Wally -E in the center and yeah so you can totally improve this if you maybe you can use like a random scattering of texture um, there are many ways to do this I think but from far away it should be convincing enough so it's like a apocalyptic city city with you know like it's a ghost city there's no no more person living in the city alright so yeah, hopefully you find this useful. Thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.